Well, all packed up. Um, I think I got everything I need. You know, I usually end up taking too much, but better too much than not enough. See when I get to the first camp area and get things a little organized better. But yeah, off on a 10 day trip, adventure. So hopefully you can follow along and uh, see what I'm up to in the dream machine. Now just did a quick maintenance stop, heading up the pulse and pass. And just uh, checking the wheel lug nuts again. Preventative maintenance is a good thing. Back on the road we go. Just heading towards Selmo. We're trying to um, camp out by Creston, I believe. There's a, a nature park I want to check out, and then my brother lives close by too, so he'll stop in and visit my brother and his wife. All these birds are in this area, kind of? Yes. Awesome. I've been by here many times, but I never stopped, so. There you go. Now's the yeah, time to stop. It's always off the highway. <laughs> yeah. Cougar. Cool. Fox. Hey, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Go for a little walkabout. Yeah. Or some magic. Hey, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Grab one of these maps. And then go for a little walkabout. Trail map. is uh, just about five kilometers from Creston. Well, a little snack to eat, haven't even had any breakfast. And then uh, go for a walk about one of these paths. Get some exercise. Oh, there goes my cutting board fell out. Always something rattling around when you're traveling. Going on a little walk about uh, this wildlife preserve just uh, west of Creston. Very nice area. The guy inside the interpretive center did say uh, definitely go on a walk, but near the end of the day, I guess the mosquitoes get pretty bad. But I'm only going for half an hour or so, and then I'm gonna go stop in at the brothers. Then we'll see if I can find a place to boondock for the night. 
because why drive all the time? You gotta stop, check things out, enjoy the camping. Skunk weed or something like that, isn't it? Probably lots of turtles in here somewhere. this here okay barcode check things out more yeah don't look too uh, welcoming but there's a lot of wildlife in there Let's check out this, uh, I call it a guard tower, but just an observation tower. Top of the guard tower, observation tower. The birds coming in, swooping. They don't like me. Lie their nest, I guess. Close, buddy. Whoa. Okay, I better leave them alone. Head her back down. Well, that was interesting. Back to the van. Even on that short walk, I got bit about 10 times with mosquitoes. Back on the road. Had a nice little visit at my brother's place. Now we're going to head to their local swimming hole. Check it out. Maybe go for a dip. Off. I think it's about uh, 32 to get today. So we'll check that out and uh, see how things look. Swim with the brother and his family, nephews, his wife. Beautiful spot. Hey, Vi, how's it going? Pretty darn good for now, Brad. <laughs> Hi, 
It's beautiful on video. Brother Will. Uh, this is the kind of river I'd like to live by. Not too big, yet big enough to put a um, turbine in when, yeah. no one, when no one's looking. Yeah. Well, the river we were at today is it's uh, wider, but right by the bridge, it funnels down, as like you're saying. But there's lots of spots along there that have nice water and holes. Where it's, it's like this, except they're deeper, right? Eh? Right. Yeah, so many spots to check out. Look, I'm back to the brother's place. I'm going to boondock here for the night in his uh, driveway. Just got to straighten everything up. And, uh, yeah, She's, his wife's going to, well, my sister in law's going to cook me a nice breakfast in the morning. So, uh, yeah, why not just crash here and then we'll head further east tomorrow.